Welcome back. In recent years, the city of Venice has tried to ban the use of cigarettes in public places, including parks and beaches. But it ends up the city was just blowing smoke after the state of Florida tells Venice it can't ban smoking in outdoor places. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us now live from Venice with what the city plans to do now. Christopher. Well, good evening, Scott and Haley. City of Venice leaders are tired of smokers dropping their spent cigarettes on the ground. But they say they say it is the same as littering. This is not the site William Nagridge wants to see when he comes to the beach. One time uh, I was walking and found a lit one in the sand. <laughs> not, a, not a good feeling. As it turns out, they're everywhere in the dunes near the beach. In a person's mind, it's the largest ashtray around. So you have a cigarette on the beach and you just put it out uh, into the sand. For years, Venice has had a rule banning the use of cigarettes in city parks and on the beaches. Cigarette smokers don't seem to consider a cigarette butt as litter, even though uh, a filtered cigarette, a filter can last for, for 100 years before it degrades. But the city's attempts were in vain. The state of Florida decided to preempt uh, that law and made it illegal for us to pass a law that banned smoking in outdoor public areas. The 2003 Florida Clean Air Act prohibits smoking indoors, but says the state regulation of smoking trumps any municipal or county ordinance. So now the city has to create a new ordinance and it has to come up with new signs. I came up with smoke responsibly, but that's pretty much an oxymoron. One smoker we spoke to in downtown Venice on Thursday did not want to go on camera, but he said it's not the responsibility of local governments to tell him where he can and cannot smoke. He viewed it as an issue of freedom. I wish the council could find a way to keep it no smoking like it's been. The city will begin drafting that new ordinance in the coming weeks. They hope to take a vote on it and put it into effect very shortly. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, Christopher, thank you. More than 500 manatees died in Florida last year with a record 104 killed by boat strikes. According to data from Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, cold stress killed 23 of the protected sea cows in 2016, 88 manatees died of natural causes, and another 150 deaths remain undetermined. But despite the deaths, the manatee population is still rising. Surveys conducted last February counted 6,250 manatees, which is the most since those counts started back in 1991. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has proposed designating the species as threatened rather than endangered. The group leading the fight to dredge Big Pass in an effort to re-nourish Lido Key is hosting a community meeting tonight. The meeting organized by Save Our Siesta Sand will take place at the St. Boniface Church on Midnight Pass Road. That's on Siesta Key from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Those against the proposed project are worried taking sand from Big Pass will harm the beaches on Siesta Key, and they're promising legal action to stop it. The Atlanta Braves are in exclusive talks to bring spring training to Northport, but it isn't a done deal just yet. West Villages is offering land for the training complex, which will include eight practice fields, hundreds of paved parking spaces, and a 6,500-seat stadium. The price tag of the project is estimated upwards of $80 million. County officials are asking for the state to come up with a $20 million grant, but the new House Speaker has been critical of state incentives as corporate welfare. Braves officials say they are prepared to work through funding issues. We are committed partners. We are contributing partners um, to a very robust uh, extent in this project. So I don't think there's any, any corporate welfare involved in this at all. We're paying our fair share in this project, and uh, that's the way we've decided to go about it. Sarasota County officials say taxpayers will not be paying for this complex and that local funding will come from tourism taxes. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, we'll talk with those overseeing negotiations about what we can still expect. In just 240 days, Nathan Benderson Park in Sarasota will welcome participants of the 2017 World Rowing Championships. To help drum up excitement for the big event, the Rowing Championships host committee invited the author of the New York Times bestseller, The Boys in the Boat, to an event today. Daniel James Brown met with book club members and area residents to talk about his novel, which tells the story of the University of Washington's eight or 
crew team and their 1936 Olympic triumph. The rowing committee is encouraging the public to get involved in the World Rowing Championships. I would just say that there's, you know, opportunities for everyone to be a part of the World Rowing Championships, whether that's becoming a volunteer, buying tickets, or becoming a partner. We're looking for everyone to help us welcome the world here in September. The championships will run from September 23rd through October 1st and expect it to be very busy in that area. A lot of excitement waiting up. So it's coming up fast. It is. Be here before we know yeah. it. And uh, some changes in our weather happening uh, at this hour. Let's find out more with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Well, here's a, a little camera shot from right where that location was, that luncheon uh, near the Polo Grill. We have Lakewood Ranch webcam looking off toward Legacy. And you can see we have some clouds around this afternoon. It brought a little bit of sprinkle here and there. And then the skies cleared out. And now they're going to cloud back up again as the front moves on in. And currently at the Sarasota Radiant Airport, we have sunshine and 74. It's going to make for a beautiful sunset here in just a few minutes. A dew point at 68. It's way up there. That dew point number will come down considerably late tonight once the front moves through. The pressure, 30.03, still pretty high, but that high pressure is going to slip out to the east a little bit and allow this front to make its way through. And then you can see the upper level winds are fairly parallel with the front, so it's going to take its time kind of drifting on through. Clouds will stick around through the overnight and tomorrow morning, eventually clearing out of here by tomorrow afternoon somewhat. 64 already behind the front in Tallahassee, the same in Jacksonville, 74, 10 degrees warmer out ahead of it with that west wind. The water temperature now keeping things a bit cooler right near the coast and warmer inland, upper 70s to low 80s. Complete forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. New Hampshire investigators have linked the disappearance of a woman 35 years ago to four murder victims in the state and another murder victim in California. Denise Bowden vanished back in 1981. Police have named her late boyfriend, Bob Evans, as the killer. They also believe he killed a woman and three kids whose bodies were found in barrels in Allenstown, New Hampshire, between 1985 and 2000. Authorities say Evans is the father of one of those murdered children. Police do not know the identity of the mother or whether or not she is also a victim. We're confident that Bob Evans is the person who killed the four victims in Allenstown. We have concerns about the mother of that middle child and believe she may be dead as well. And we believe that he killed Denise Bowden somewhere between New Hampshire and California. Evans was convicted in 2003 of the murder of his wife in California. He died in prison in 2010. Police officers' next task will be identifying all any other potential victims. New details in a police takedown of a Texas mother and her children. There's new body cam video of the arrest, and we've learned that the charges have now been dropped. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest from Los Angeles. He said, oh, he threw some paper, I said, and I told him to pick it up. Controversial said, oh, arrest. Newly obtained body camera video shows the moment a Fort Worth, Texas police officer went from zero to 60. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Taking down Jacqueline Craig, jamming a taser into her back. Black Lives Matter activist and New York Daily News staff writer Sean King just released the video online. But in December, ABC News had a different angle of the incident. Craig originally called Officer William Martin for help after she said a neighbor choked her seven year old son for littering. Well, why don't you teach your son not to litter? It doesn't matter if he did or didn't, it doesn't give him the right to put his hands on it. Why not? Because he died? The situation escalated. Craig's teenage daughters tried to intervene. All three arrested and charged. Get back or you're going to jail too. I don't care. After the body cam video became public, Fort Worth police announced all charges against Craig and her daughters dropped. The neighbor who choked her son issued a citation for misdemeanor assault. Instead of charging this neighbor with a felony, which is what he should be facing, they're going to give him a ticket and let him pay a fine. And that, that's unacceptable. Officer Martin suspended for 10 days without pay. He's already back at work, but no longer assigned to Craig's neighborhood. We've looked at this, you know, through a variety of lenses, and I felt it was the right thing to do. The chief says he found his officer used excessive force and he will be retrained. But members in the community are outraged, pointing to race, calling for the officer to be fired. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Los Angeles. An update now on Markeith Lloyd's case, the man accused of killing his pregnant ex-girlfriend and an Orlando police officer. Lloyd is insisting on acting as his own lawyer. He made that decision in court in Orlando again today, despite repeated warnings from the judge that it's a bad idea. The judge says Lloyd will have limited legal resources available while awaiting his trial on no bond. 
Lloyd is facing two first-degree murder counts and a host of other charges related to the deaths of his ex-girlfriend and Orlando officer Deborah Clayton. A St. Lucie County Sheriff's deputy is charged with sexual battery and bribery. Authorities say Evan Kramer pulled over a woman on a bicycle while on duty around 1 o'clock Tuesday morning. He then negotiated with the woman to perform sexual acts to avoid going to jail. The woman then went to the hospital and reported the crime. Deputy Kramer was fired. Today, a judge ordered that he be held under $850,000 bond. So out with the orange and in with the high-tech blue. Take a look. NASA astronauts flying on Boeing's new Starliner spaceship are getting a galactic makeover. The sleek Boeing blue spacesuits are an upgrade to the bulky orange gear that we're used to. The suits have touchscreen sensitive gloves, more flexible material, and soft helmets. The suits also serve as an emergency life support system. The first flight test for that new Starliner is scheduled for launch in 2018. It, it looks like something you'd see in the movies. That's right what now. I was thinking. Yeah. It's very sci fi. It's uh -huh. very sci fi movie, but it's cool. I like it. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Still to come, your Suncoast News an innovative treatment at Sarasota Memorial Hospital. Uh, the technique allows surgeons to clear deadly blockages in arteries more safely. Plus, getting rid of bland veggies. Scientists at the University of Florida say they found a way to make tomatoes more tasty. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Suncoast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySuncoast.com slash dining. Get the new year off to a great start with safety and peace of mind. Subaru was named the 2016 Best Overall Brand, Most Trusted, and Best Performance Brand by Kelly Blue Book. And ALG named Subaru its top mainstream brand for residual value for 2016. Now you can lease a new Subaru Outback for just $2.29 a month or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Our goal is to do things better than anybody in the country. What makes Sarasota Memorial Hospital's program so special is that it's taking care of the patient in every aspect of cardiovascular disease. And in this community, the, the patients are very active. The idea is not just to get them over that operation, but to get them back to doing the things that they enjoy doing. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. In town, on the town. The Mark offers landmark living in the center of everything you love about Sarasota. Priced from the 700s, spacious residences and elevated club level amenities create a private oasis in the sky. Promenade shopping and dining put the best of downtown downstairs. Sales gallery open daily at the corner of Pineapple and State Street just south of Maine. The Mark Sarasota. Presented by Coulter. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. 
Sarasota Memorial Hospital is one of only two hospitals in Florida that now offers a new treatment to clear potentially deadly blockages in carotid arteries. Today at SMH, surgeons explained how the recently FDA approved technique works. The procedure is for, performed through a small incision at the base of the neck. It allows surgeons to safely reverse blood flow away from the brain to protect it from dangerous bits of plaque and blood clots that can break away and cause strokes or heart attacks during standard treatments. Surgeons say the procedure minimizes the risk of complications. While we're doing this procedure, blood is coming down out of the brain. And whatever little piece breaks loose can no longer go up into the brain, but it goes down into this device that we're putting into the neck. And we feed this blood back down and we put it into a vein in the groin. This treatment is typically performed on high-risk patients who have suffered, suffered symptoms of a warning stroke. Now, let's head over to Bob. Well, delightful day out there in the bay. We see some sunshine. We had some clouds earlier this afternoon with a few brief sprinkles, but overall conditions are looking pretty good right now for boating. And we will see, though, a chance for some showers late tonight as the actual cold front moves on through. But a nice sunset getting ready to take place just after 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, the front itself, the cooler air right back here, and that cooler air will eventually filter in our way throughout the day tomorrow. But right now, it's still kind of bottled up back behind the front. The front will sink southward, as I mentioned, overnight. We'll increase some clouds and bring us a few sprinkles that are possible uh, late tonight and tomorrow morning. But currently, we have just a few clouds around. Still warm, 72, dew point 68, and the winds are out of the south-southwest at 10. The pressure 30.03 inches. That is still high, and it's going to eventually fall a little bit here as the front moves in. 76, the high today. We can say goodbye to the 70s for a while. Our normal high, one of the uh, coolest readings of the year, really, in the low 70s. Typically, this is the chilliest time of the year. And 85 degrees, the record set in 1990. Rainfall, no rainfall to report. We could use a little bit. We're not going to get much with this front. We will get some, though, with the next one that moves through late Saturday, Sunday, and brings with it a chance for showers. We could get up to a quarter inch, a half inch of rainfall. You can see right there the dividing line where that front is behind it. Cooler air, 60s there from Pensacola. Tallahassee and Jacksonville out ahead, but still warm in Orlando, 80 degrees, 82 in Miami, 77 in Key West, and temperatures in the mid-70s to lower 70s in Inglewood and uh, Venice at 74 degrees there now. Northport, you're a couple degrees warmer, and the Gulf water temperature at 70. Forecast looks like this for tomorrow. We'll see a mixture of sun and clouds, more clouds again in the morning, and some clearing, a little bit more sunshine, but highs only in the upper 60s tomorrow as a result of that cold front sliding on through. And you'll see it kind of ripping on by. Now, there will be another one moving through on, as I said, Saturday night, Sunday, as a result of a low-pressure area developing in the Gulf. And that will swing some cooler air as our winds will switch around to a northwesterly direction. And highs are only expected to be in the low to mid-60s, both on Saturday and Sunday. Well, that area of low pressure that moved through Iowa yesterday and also uh, parts of the central U.S. and the upper Mississippi Valley is now exiting off to the northeast. It's lost a lot of its punch right now as it pushes to the east. And... Not a lot of rough weather out west. We were anticipating maybe a little bit more snow and rain, but it looks like this is going to ride high over a ridge that's starting to set up over Nevada and California. As far as you can see, there's some snow showers near uh, Grand Rapids uh, stretching over just north of Detroit right now. Cleveland getting some rain-snow mix. Temperature pretty warm. Boston 47 for this time of year anyway. Philly at 47 as well. Salt Lake City at 30. Good skiing weather there. Uh, 29 in Omaha and temperatures into the mid-50s in Dallas and temperature now in Atlanta at 55 degrees. Well, the, the forecast looks like this for boaters tomorrow. Winds will be basically out of the north at 15 knots. Seas will be two to four feet with a moderate chop on the bays and inland waters. The tide's upcoming for Sarasota Bay. The next tide is a high tide at 1052. Sunset will be at just a few minutes after six o'clock tonight. So still rather warm tonight. 60 degrees, increasing cloudiness late and cooler for tomorrow. Morning clouds then turn into part, partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. And the extended forecast is calling for cooler temperatures over the next six days, then back to average by Thursday of next week. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. Now to Suncoast Traffic Watch. No accidents, but as typical this time of day, I-75 is backed up in the northbound lanes in Sarasota. Well, if you own a Volkswagen, it may still be a while before the company buys back your diesel. Volkswagen's efforts to do right by owners who purchase cars and SUVs that cheat on emissions tests have run into some speed bumps. Owners say the company is not delivering on a promise to quickly buy back those diesels. Some complain they've had to put in multiple requests for paperwork, even after being told their application was complete. The automaker blames delays on an overwhelming amount of requests. 
Have you ever wished that your tomato had a little bit more flavor? Well, now a team at the University of Florida says they have found a way to make that happen. In a study published in the journal Science, Harry Klee, a professor with UF's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences, identifies the chemical combinations for better tomato flavor. Once scientists identified the parts of the genetic makeup of tomatoes that make it taste really good, they replaced the bad tasting molecules with better ones. Taking large numbers of, of old and new varieties, feeding them to a consumer panel, uh, doing the chemistry, the flavor chemistry profiles on all of them, and then figuring out what's in the ones people like and what's in the ones they don't like. Florida and California account for two-thirds to three-fourths of all commercially produced fresh market tomatoes in the U.S. Just another one of the amazing incredible accomplishments coming out of the University of Florida. From a very unbiased person. No, I agree. I totally agree. <laughs> they do a lot of great work there, yeah. especially in the science fields. And this is this a good is one, a good one yeah. because tomatoes, not a big tomato fan, but when they're really good, I, right. they're really rich and, and tasty yeah. and, and red. And, and the others, not so much. Right. Very yeah. bland sometimes. Entertainment News is next. Stay with us. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Come out to the best party of the season, the Goodwill Mardi Gras Gala on February 28th at Michael's on Eat. Tickets at experiencegoodwill.org. Go ahead, make a fashion statement. Demand something more than just ordinary. Capture elegance in every turn and drive with flair. Where beautiful styling is standard. Stop in and take a test drive. I'll guarantee you'll never go back to plain vanilla again. The all new 2017 Fiat 500, starting at 14999. Only at Sunset Fiat in Sarasota. Attention small business owners. Penn Funding announces the easiest and fastest business funding program, the Platinum Business Account. We needed cash fast. Business is good, but this is an emergency. We needed some new equipment, and the banks wouldn't help us. At Penn Funding, we like to say yes. You're approved. With your Platinum Business Account, you could qualify for up to $50,000 or more. This amazing new business account funding program is so effective, you could have the cash you need in just days. I called, spoke with an agent who pre-qualified us, and connected me. Call now for your Platinum Business Account. If you've been in business for at least six months, you could qualify for up to $50,000 or more in just days. I called Penn Funding and had my money fast. Need cash for your business? Call Penn Funding now. Call 800-658-3433. 800-658-3433. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. An Iranian actress is boycotting the Academy Awards in protest of President Trump's immigration policies. Actress Tarane Aladusti stars in the Oscar-nominated The Salesman. She called plans for a temporary visa ban on Iranians, quote, racist in a message posted on Twitter. The Salesman is nominated for Best Foreign Language Film. Television is paying tribute to Mary Tyler Moore, one of its adored leading ladies. The actress died yesterday at the age of 80. Moore's life and career will be the focus of broadcast specials tonight. CBS News will air a special, specially titled piece called Mary Tyler Moore, Love is All Around at 9 o'clock. The Mary Tyler Moore show aired on CBS, which said it will use interviews and its archive footage to tell her story.
And right here on ABC 2020, we'll pay special tribute to the life and legacy of the actress. The hour long special will explore her childhood in Brooklyn, groundbreaking career and personal struggles. Mary Tyler Moore, after all, airs right here on ABC 7 this Friday night at 10 o'clock. If you love the commercials during the Super Bowl, pay close attention this year. For the first time ever, a company will run a live commercial during the big game. Snickers is already hyping up the ad, which stars Adam Driver from the show Girls and Star Wars. Snickers hasn't said what the commercial will be about, but did drop hints, saying there's some kind of showdown, stunt horses, and a dead cowboy. <laughs> okay, look out for this year's ad during the third quarter of the game. Super Bowl, by the way, Sunday, February 5th. Hmm. It always makes the night in case the game is not so good. Right. The in case the game is know. boring. It's the one time when you don't want to like leave the room during the commercials and right. you actually want to see what they came up Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with more news and your forecast. Stay with us. Start the year off right with a great deal during the Start Something New event going on now at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come drive the most awarded SUV of all time, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, or shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers. Stop by today and drive away in a new Jeep Compass for just $14,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today.